morning, how can we help you? Hi, can I get a large double-double? It is Monday, actual Thanksgiving day here in Canada. And uh, we've gone from Carol's parents' cottage to my mom's cottage. And uh, today we're gonna be taking out the dock, which is right there. Uh, we've got to take out the boat and the boat lift. And uh, we put the boat upside down under the dock. I've put two benches there already. And uh, Sam's coming down to say hi. Hey Sam, come here. He smells stuff. He smells stuff. So everybody that was staying here has already done a whole bunch of work and and uh, tidied up the cottage and is getting it ready to, for to be closed for the season. But uh, we all need to do the dock at the same time because it's heavy. Right, Sam? Sam, what do you smell? What is it? Now it's time to blow off the leaves. All closed up pretty much. I uh, got all the leaves off the roof, then blew them onto the deck, and we blew them off the deck. But then we just, when we brought all of the uh, the furniture inside uh, from the deck, uh, there was still lots of leaves that were stuck behind things that I didn't notice. Oh well, but the dock's out. And again, mom and I were discussing what an amazing couple weeks uh, in Muskoka it's been. When uh, Carol and I were going from her parents' cottage to here, they were listening to Barry's radio station, and they're like, "Oh, we're still hoping the sun comes out, and it's trying to peak. It's a lot of overcast. It's been like this the whole day up here in Muskoka. So it's amazing what 100 kilometers north of Barry does. It can be sunny down there sometimes and crappy here, that's for sure. But this year we're we're the lucky ones." And this is what the cottage looks like when <laughs> we packed up for the for the winter. Closing time. It's closing time. And that's everything in all of our outdoor furniture and some of the indoor furniture is just stacked up. Just so we can fit this stuff in here. It just helps last longer. Bless you. What was your comment? I said you don't have to go home, but we do have to you go. You can't stay here or something like that. That's oh, the rest right, of that the rest song. of that song. Closing time. No need for alcohol. All right. Oh, stood right under that. Yeah, it's going to make windy noises. Well, that's life at the cottage. You open it up, four months later, you close her down. We are stopping for the first time in many, many years. At charcoal, charcoal bo or barbecued Weber's hamburgers. This is Sam and Carol. Aww. <laughs> I think the last time we were here, I was very disappointed in the fact that they have clam chowder, but they don't have onion rings. So they got burgers, fries, all the things you would want in a burger joint. But instead of onion rings, clam chowder. So let's see if they've upgraded, updated their menu. That'd be cool. One cool interesting thing about this place is they actually bought this bridge from the CN Tower way back when. Yeah. Exhibition, wasn't it? CN Tower. So this used to go because the CN Tower was built on the other side of the tracks. They had to build a bridge to get you from one side over to the other side to go to the CN Tower. Then they replaced it with a skywalk or whatever it's called. And so this is the CN Tower. It would have been cool to see pictures of this thing on the highway traveling down. Unless they dismantled it. And now the reason 
The reason why they bought this bridge was because people were stomping on the side of the highway and running across the highway. And uh, it was getting dangerous because Weber's is so famous. And the food is so good that they had to put this bridge in for safety reasons and then buy the lot, buy the land over there and make a parking lot. So, let's go see how big the lineup is. It's, it's already big. Whoops, sorry. food so I did the chocolate shake the cheeseburger and it looks like they put two slices of cheese on there tomato they don't do lettuce here it kind of reminded me of the first McDonald's where you know everything is all done in, in sequence uh, so they're making the food they have people out in the line and the people in the line uh, are being approached by girls that take your order and then another girl comes out and takes your order back inside, I guess, puts it into the till so they know what you've ordered. And then another girl comes and takes your your tab again and then tells you how much it costs and then uh, brings you your change. And so by the time you even get into the building, like all the ordering and money has all been taken care of, now you're just like in a holding pattern until you come out and uh, they grab your food. They almost forgot one of our fries, but they didn't. They, they were telling us not to go because they knew there was a fry missing before we even noticed, well, before I did. And what do you think of the burger? It's okay. Nice? Again, it's been a while since I've eaten a burger at Weber's. A lot of people love Weber's. Nice charbroiled. <clears throat> I enjoy it. Sam loves the french fries. Is that yummy? Can you say Weber's? <laughs> no, you can't. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. Say bye. Say bye. There's a nice say bye. big yard. <laughs> Look at the nice big yard. And, uh, and they've got all these trains that they've purchased, and they use a few of them for eating. Uh, I guess if it's raining out and people use, use up the, the, the dining cars, I guess they're all set up. That silver one's the washroom. So. Oh. Plus where you got your money. Uh -huh. Anyway, gotta go.